Last time on Dragon Ball Z. We need to work on getting that sandwich for her kill. School bus. Oh dear. Very lucky she didn't get hurt there. I do not like this song. And let someone else take care of things. Hey guys, Saxdude26 here and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Ball Z The Legacy of Goku 2. Let's recap on what happened last time on the scatter map. We went down to Big Mouth to get a sandwich, then we had to go off to the newspaper stand, then we went up to the West City Highway, rescued the four kids from the school bus incident, went back to the newspaper stand, traded off the newspaper for the open face club sandwich, gave that to Hercule, went to go get the Eyes of the Lion from the antique store, the parade finally finished, and now we can finally play as the Namekian Piccolo. Piccolo starts at level 10, regardless of what level Gohan is at, whether he is higher or lower. His stats are preset, predetermined, and always consistent once you get him. He has no other real benefits at the moment, uh, so we will be balancing time between Gohan and Piccolo to level them up as we go, but there are going to be a lot of things coming our way that are going to require Piccolo as a mandatory part of progression. Regardless, since the last part, I did another once-over of West City and West City Highway and scanned all of the NPCs into the scouter that I didn't already have in there. So now I have a completely up-to-date database based on where we are up to. So before we go on to continuing plot-relevant stuff, I am going to be making my way around to a couple of places because while scanning, I did notice that there was a capsule here in this house that I could very easily miss. Don't want to forget about that. And I think there was also a chest in a house. I think it was this one. I know it was in one of the residences. And that's locked. Um, my husband went to fishing again. Oh dear, I hope he's okay, given the state of the road. Anyway, so like that connects to something later on, so we don't need to worry about it. The only place I wanted to check was the apartments. Because I know B and C is... Under construction, nothing of interest. Uh, B requires access. Yep, and I believe A is the same because I distinctly remember needing to get items for both of those. Uh, okay, so based on the journal, uh, Piccolo must talk to Goku or the mayor of West City about a problem. Now, I could go talk to the mayor and just skip talking to Goku, but that kind of feels a bit stupid considering I've been locked outside his office for so long. Goku's been waiting. And I do get some pretty cool things out of the interaction with the mayor anyway, even if I talk to Goku first. So, Goku is mentioning about the Triceratops King who rules the forest south of West City. One of the ways out. Uh, he's running people off the farmlands around that area, and Goku would handle it, but he needs to run some errands for Chi Chi. Uh, Piccolo, of course, being steadfast is like, androids are coming, I need to train, I don't have time for this. And Goku being a bit superhero-ish, and just think of it as a training exercise. I'll take care of this time, but you owe me. Well, Goku owes you a lot, actually. I mean, you did train his son, but yeah. So, Goku has filled us in, now we know what's going on. Pretty awesome. Anyways, so the main thing we want to focus on now is actually going back and talking to the mayor anyways because there is a solid interaction we will get from talking to the mayor as Piccolo specifically. And we still get this interaction even if Goku is the one who uh, brings us up to speed on the Triceratops King situation. So, here in City Hall, my goodness, the Namek! Yes. The mayor is aware of the Namekians. One of them is currently staying in his home until he finds a place of his own. Wow. <laughs> Pic Piccolo unsure of how to respond about the demise of Namek. If you find the time he appears to assist the poor tormented village to the south of the city, the Triceratops in their region is behaving quite aggressively. So he reiterates the same kind of information that we've been given for the most part. Nothing too out of the ordinary, nothing we're unfamiliar with, but uh, nothing unhelpful either. Now I'm just going to quickly check if there was anything else in City Hall I needed to really concern myself with. I don't think there was anything else. There is a nice replicated model of the uh, the map that we get on all the directories throughout West City, 
which is pretty neat. I do like that. So, we've been given our quest, and I don't think we've got anything else holding us up from going down to the forest. Yeah, the South Forest. So, citizens traveling through Triceratops jungle enter at their own risk. Well, lucky for me, I'm not a citizen. So, this is why it is very important to have Piccolo, because there is a level 10 character gate. We want to be making sure Piccolo and Gohan are constantly keeping on top of their game and leveled up. The next time we get a chance to go to a save point, we're going to be switching things up. And hey, there is an enemy that is awfully familiar. It's a Kuma mercenary. In other words, a member of the clan that is ruled by the first boss in Dragon Ball Advanced Adventure. I knew he was going to be relevant in the Legacy of Goku games. This is why the clan take refuge in the Triceratops jungle. It's pretty awesome. And I do like the fact that there's connectivity between Advanced Adventure in some tiny aspects, or just Dragon Ball in general. There is a Trunks barrier here, and because we don't even have access to Trunks, we don't know what the level is for it. So, ah well, guess we'll just have to keep pressing on before we know anything. Also, these guys, because they attack with swords, they can be pretty brutal. So, getting used to fighting these guys is going to be pretty essential. Uh, I like to train quite a lot in the Triceratops jungle while working on this quest. So I'm going to be exploring every inch of every map screen of everything. And now that we're actually in a new area, I can never remember. Yeah, the map progressively expands with every new screen we go to. In fact, that has just reminded me that further up, I actually skipped a screen by accident. And it's pretty important that I go back for it and kill every enemy on the way. One for the experience, and two for the items I missed. Get back here. Okay, cool. Strength went up by zero. Yeesh. That does happen. Sometimes you do get a zero boost to a stat. And it doesn't mean you're necessarily doing anything wrong. It just means based on the way combat's been going, the character doesn't need as much of a buff to strength to really be changing things up. Now, of course we scanned the ladybugs last time so we don't have to worry about them. What we're seeing there is another gold capsule. The jingle I do love. And a Triceratops King statue. I do love how they allude to the Triceratops jungle with the, um, with the figureheads throughout the jungle. It's nice. Nice touches that make it less than just, you know, generic green area. I was about to say generic green hill zone. Uh, I think that ladybug literally just sat at the border between the screens. There's nothing I could do about him. Jeez. Anyways, uh, clearing up the mercenaries. Let's just double quickly check that I've got everything cool. Alright, awesome. Uh, was there another one back here? Yes. Cool. Two on strength that time, so I made up for the difference. And now we're gonna start heading back down this way. Main thing I want to do is get Piccolo to a decent level, keep pushing forward, and then I'll either bring Gohan out when things start getting dire, or after I finish this main chunk of stuff, I'll do a bit of grinding with him before we press on. I'm not sure how it's going to balance out, it's all going to depend on how progression goes, because Piccolo's handling these enemies pretty well, but again, he's two levels higher than Gohan was. Now, that's not to say that Gohan won't handle it well, but, um, he's still taking a bit of a punch to it, so... First I want to check down from the waterfall, this way. Thank you for the roasted chicken. I want to cross over the shallow water here, amongst the reeds. And now the gold capsule. We got two in the jungle, pretty good. Uh, that bridge is going to be able to get out of here. That is a second tier Tiger Bandit. These guys are going to be a bit problematic because we've already seen Tiger Bandits that are pretty decent in terms of melee combat, but these guys are going to start adding in ranged, and that's why especially sticking to Piccolo for the moment is going to be a pretty good idea. I'm not going to head across the bridge yet, 
because I believe the direct south pump, yeah, is under the waterfall. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, ah, shoot you to death. Ah, ah. I really don't wanna die. That would be a good thing to avoid happening. Where is the Tiger Bandit? They throw bombs. Which on top of the higher health and the higher damage output is gonna be a bit of a tricky business. Now is that, that's an endurance capsule, okay. I'm at 30 health. Uh, I think I'm gonna be okay, but I'm gonna really need to be relying on energy a little bit more to get me back to a safe haven. Uh, but after that, I think... Uh, yeah, I can't get a vantage point down to that mercenary. So what I want... is to take out some of these guys and try and get closer to level up. There we go, 14. Fantastic. Um, based on how things are progressing, I'm actually going to... take three massive hits to the face. Jeez, come on, pick away. So with Goku. Last I checked, Goku was level 25 and you're level 10. This is going to be a bit problematic. Anyways, um, so now we can go under the waterfall and we can deal with this mercenary here. Oh dear. I'm going to have to start relying on energy even more because this is turning into a dire situation. There wasn't one on the bridge, okay. Cool. Just a tiny jump stick. Okay, cool. Now the running water stopped, but as you'll notice, there's a lot of devastation going on here. And Triceratops is running through some crops. Ah, uh, it's a dog running there. And it's not just one, it's a lot of them. So we've got all these silos, like there's a farming town here. I mean, <laughs> look at a bit green, are you sick? Oh dear. <laughs> Rumor has it that the giant Triceratops, full Triceratops King, controls all the dinosaurs in the area. Yeah. So he's trampling, getting them to trample the land and basically try and force people out. What I want to grab though is that chest for that strength capsule. Uh, doors are all going to be locked and nothing of interest inside. But these Triceratopses are going to be posing a big problem, which is progressing forward because of the stampede going through all of the crops. This is setting up the tone for the next section of progression. While I want to be leveling up Gohan, I realize that he is a much lower level, and I don't want to be putting him at risk for what's about to happen. I have in the past timed the next bit very poorly, and failed miserably to get Piccolo or Gohan through it, and ended up killing them. Uh, as you'll notice, they're going cyclically around the town. Going between them is a very important thing because we now have to do a not stealth mission. Basically, navigating around the Triceratopses and not getting hit. That did not go well. Basically, I want to be navigating around every Triceratops that comes past and making sure I'm not getting hit, but safely getting through to the next area. So far, so good. This next section is the one I'm worried about, though. Uh, they cross in front of there. And that doesn't leave much of a gap to really get through here to up there. But it did sort of. Okay, cool. There. They're crossing that way. Can I go up this way? Sort of. They go this way. Do they go down? No. Okay, good. Which means I can cross under them. Like this. Uh, what have we got going on here? They're going back up. I can cross path them. Uh, where are these ones going? Up here. Then going back down that way. So if I sneak through, and now I want to sneak under them and get past these guys and then go up through the gap. Cool. Now the big concern, boss music, Triceratops King. What do you want? Basically we want you to stop trampling the farmlands. The humans are no longer welcome here. Based on what? And Piccolo's basically just not taking any of this nonsense. I am the Triceratops King. Yes, and I am the Demon King Piccolo. What of it? So, proper real boss, three-figure digit of health. This is a real challenge now compared to a lot of the things we're facing. Also, every time he shakes, he's going to charge. You want to get out of the way of it, and especially with how our health is doing, 
We want to be avoiding physical contact with him. Health, please. Okay, come on. Come on. Come on, come on. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Oh dear, oh dear. Okay, no, 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 no. Okay, jeez, 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 okay. I very much underestimated the timing of that. I want roast chicken, thank you very much. Wait for him to charge, okay. The good thing is, if you can dodge the charge, it makes dealing with him a lot easier. With that low health, I was not really there, oh no! Let's not hit the scouter button, please. Unfortunately, I hit the right trigger and that triggered the scouter. Let's not do that then. Okay. Okay. Much better. Come on. Okay, so far so good. Okay. I am not willing to get this close with this little health. Okay. Come on. Dash past. Come on. There we go. Made it. Okay, okay, I give up. Thank goodness, Piccolo, you were cutting it close there. I may not show the greatest hospitality, but I am a dinosaur of my honor. Okay, so he agrees to stop the rampaging, stampeding nonsense. And with that, nice tranquil music returns to the farmlands of the Triceratops jungle. See, the rumors are true. Thanks for getting rid of the dinosaurs. And they remember that we are the ones that helped. No question about it. Won't be like the, um, won't be like Mrs. Strickland thinking that Hercule did all the stuff. Now maybe my soybeans. Oh, I'm just glad I managed to help with all the crops. Hello, pup. Okay, so with that, uh, Piccolo, you should really heal up. So I'm going to switch you back around for Gohan. Do we want a train or do we want to go? Actually, we're going to get out of here. Alrighty, Gohan. Back we go with the good news. <laughs> what? Um, what? A strange tall warrior has appeared just outside of West City. Could it be Frieza? Find out. Right now. Frieza? No. This is his brother Kula. He is making a declaration of war. I will be on new Namek. Fight me! Which may or may not happen in the next exciting episode of Dragon Ball!